Today's game is a multiplication game which you can use for your tables or you can use for multiples beyond your tables. Uh, first of all, the players play need to decide what table they're going to do. We're focusing on the three times table at the minute, so that's what we'll do. So across the top, just write out the numbers that are the answers in the three times table. And then the children can refer to these at any time. Counting along and it makes the game a bit less stressful while still having some learning in it. Then we need to draw ourselves a grid or you may decide for your class that you want to have a grid printed off already. Um, not sure what size this grid is going to end up at at the minute. Let's have a look. It looks like it's a 5 by 4 grid, so 20 squares there. And then start writing the numbers from the table you've chosen into these squares. There's going to be a few duplicates because there's more squares than I've got numbers. That's okay. Uh, we've used the 3 times table. You could use the 0 0.3 times table. You could use the 30 times table, depending on how confident you are with number. So we're getting there. 30, I'm going to put another 30 in again. And then what we do is we take it in turns to roll the dice. There we go. I've got a 1. So 1 times 3 is 3. So I can claim any square that's got a 3 in it. So I'm going to claim that one. Now I'll pass it on to my partner who's going to roll the dice. And they've rolled a 4. 4 threes are 12. So they will put a cross into that square. Now you can play a few things at this point. You can play three in a row if you wish. So we've got six times three, eighteen. Okay, yeah, we'll have that one there. Nine times three, twenty-seven. So you're getting the idea. Seven times three, twenty-one. Go there. Nine times three, twenty-seven. Hopefully it won't be too long before someone gets a row. Four threes are twelve. Four threes are twelve. Now it looks like all the twelves have gone. So I just missed my go on that turn. Passes back across the circles. Seven threes are twenty-one. Crosses is having a bit of bad luck. Seven threes are twenty-one. There's no all the twenty-ones look to have gone. So I missed that go. So back to circles. Three threes are nine. And at that point, circles could be said to have scored a point because they've got a row of three. Um, so you can play on through this, and every time you get a new row of three, give yourselves a point, or you can just play until all the squares have gone and count up. Or the children come up with some point scoring ideas around that. I hope you enjoy it. I hope it helps learning those tables.